Hello and welcome back to Off the X Training and Reviews. Um, picked up another gun today. This is the Sig Sauer 365, but it's chambered in 380 rather than 9 mil. Um, I actually picked this up for a family member and they were kind enough to let me do a, a video on it. This is fresh out of the box, out of the bag. Um, take the little tag off here. Uh, this is something they just come out with. It's a 380 version of the 9mm SIG 365. Empty magazine. Empty and clear there. What comes in the box is you get your little youth handgun safety notice. You do get a snazzy little breech block. And then uh, you get the complimentary little speed loader for your magazine here that SIG sends with them. Which is not like an up or anything. It's just a mechanical manual speed loader. And then you get two 10 round magazines. They are flush fit. They got This one's got a little bit of a finger extension. This one's just got a flush base plate. But they are both 10 round magazines. And let's see what else we got. Got the receipt for payment here. We've got the... SIG 365 manual. Um, SIG's always pretty good with their manuals as far as once you get past all the warnings and stuff. But You get in here and it just shows you all the different makes and models of the 365. And you get in it tells you have all your controls, what they do, uh, the safety models, the non-safety models, the different options for your magazines etc etc they have a pretty detailed breakdown in the magazine in, in, the, in the manual and you get your little six sour sticker there and a couple other little things here to sign up for the NRA but that's your manual and your purchase receipt I just had stuff blow away of course you got your obligatory um, government safety lock here That'll go right back in there and collect dust. Other than that, that appears to be all that comes in the box. I'm going to put this back in here so it doesn't blow away. Um, the 380 was actually purchased for a family member of mine. I wanted to do a review on it real quick because we do a lot of firearms instruction for... Uh, elderly and uh, females that may have a reduced grip strength for whatever reason or another and the not recoil the nine millimeter would be a little too stout for some so the 380 is a good option for that and this does come optics ready with the 365 and you've got the sig light night sights on it the two dot and three dot two dots in the rear one dot in the front sig light night sights um, no serrations over the top, but you do have side serrations on your slide. It's a very, very small gun. Um, as we've discussed in previous videos of mine, I have very large hands. I can completely cover the entire gun inside of my hands. So this is not something that I would personally carry, but it does provide a good option for people that might have a little bit less grip strength because it does rack very easily. It's very easy to lock open. And then your magazines. I did notice on these, it looks as though, I'll have to verify with SIG, but it looks as though they're standard 9mm magazine bodies. And they have a little plastic spacer in the back of the magazine to compensate for the shorter 380 ACP cartridge. Um, it's all well and good. Um, other, other manufacturers have done this in the past. With the, see, I have, like I said, very large hands. I wear a, a 1X, 2X glove. And with the finger extension magazine, I still have a pinky dangling off the end of the grip here. Um, I can't get a full grip on it, even with the extended finger magazine. I would imagine they are going to come out with base plates for these, plus one, plus two base plates, or possibly even extended magazines once they come out with the larger frames, the X and the XL. Um, but we'll go ahead and put a chamber flag in it since we got it here. 
so that everybody knows it's nice and clear. And the primary reason I wanted to do a video on it is for those that are a little more recoil sensitive to nine millimeter, those that might have some grip strength issues. Like I said, we do offer training here through our business off the X training solutions. And we have been seeing a lot more of elderly that have decided to start carrying concealed. Um, we've had some people that are, have medical conditions or, or restrictions to grip strength. And we tend to refer them to the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ9 or EZ380. And uh, six hours now coming out with this. And I thought it might be a little bit easier, and it is. It's considerably easier to rack than the 9 millimeter Big Brother. But um, fresh out of the box, no oil. We're going to go ahead and load up a few magazines, and we're going to take a few shots with it and see if we can hit anything with this little 380. Um, 380, personally, for me, is not something I would carry. Um, I prefer 9 millimeters. It's got a little more punch to it. And... Uh, with modern ammunition and modern loadings, a good uh, heavy for caliber projectile and a good bonded hollow point, 380 will do the job. Um, maybe less so if somebody's wearing a thick leather biker jacket or something like that, but you're still gonna draw blood. You're still gonna get a point across. Um, I just prefer to have that little bit extra penetration from the nine millimeter. Um, like I said, these are 10 round magazines. Um, they are a little stiff from the factory. But I can get all 10 in there without the loader. Um, if you've got grip strength issues or um, arthritic hands or something along that, you're going to want to use this little loader. We'll go ahead and try that out and see how that works. The way this sticks on is just like an up lula. you got this little plastic tab in the back of the loader here. Just slide that over top of the magazine and depress with a thumb. Um, that's less than stellar. I think it's made for the 9mm version because it's kind of canning that bullet at an odd angle. We'll see what we can do for it here. It still works. Um, you just got to seat, seat those back bullets all the way back and then depress it. Once you get past the first bullet, it seems to be depressing all the way down. So... I would still use my up Lula. My up Lula is going to be a little more uh, efficient than this is. Uh, not not plugging on up Lula or anything. I just I just love the Lula loaders. They work well. I'm going to go back to my hands now because I'll sit there and fidget with that thing for too long, and I don't want to stretch you guys out. Um, I would like to say thank you to the uh, few hundred subscribers that I do have already. Um, the videos on the Shadow Systems guns seems to be getting a lot of traction. I've got eight and 10,000 views on those videos. And uh, I'm a very small channel. And I, I really appreciate you guys' views. And I try to comment on all of your comments every time I get one in. I work night shift driving trucks so when I get my brakes off. And I see those comments. I try to get to them. Uh, but we'll go ahead. I'm going to turn you guys a little bit here. Figure out this tripod. We'll turn you... I've got some uh, Throom targets here that we got set up for a plate rack, and then I've got some steel. This Throom plate rack is a shoot a self-sealing knockdown plate rack that's safe to shoot at close distances. So we've got those set up at seven yards. And I have steel cut at 15 yards. Um, these are the Caldwell Emax Pro earbuds here that I use for my ear protection. Um, I like them. The first set that I had, I did have to send back to Caldwell because the right earbud quit working altogether. But these are uh, noise canceling and, and ambient sound amplifying earbuds and they seem to work okay uh, we'll start out with the completely flush fit magazine here rack around in and let me scoot over here a little bit let's see
Well, that's the first 10 rounds stood. It runs like a SIG. They're very reliable. Let's see here. There's some more steel out here. We'll plink at that. Well, that's 20 rounds through it. It's not my gun, so that, I think that's all I'm going to put through it today. Um, as my family member that owns the gun shoots it and carries it a little more, I'll see if I can get them on camera for you and do a updated review on it. This is just basically an unboxing video and um, first shots, first impressions for a small little 380 gun. I mean, that's almost pocket carry size there. It's very, very small. Um, the trigger is very good in it. I think the trigger is actually probably better than the original 365s. Let's see here. Let me take my magazine out of my pocket. If we had a pocket holster for this thing, I'm wondering if it would fit in a pocket or not. We'll swap the finger extension magazine for the little flush fit magazine. It is an empty mag and an empty gun. So, if I decided to put that in a pocket holster, you can see, back you up a little bit, you can see here, it barely even shows in my pocket. Let me take you off the tripod here. If I was to have that in my pocket, with a decent little pocket holster, you would barely know that it was there, and I wouldn't have a problem getting a hand on it and getting it out of the pocket. So... I think that it would be a viable option for a pocket carry gun, especially in 380. I mean, most of your pocket guns are going to be small little 25s or the little micro revolvers and stuff. Um, you do have some pocketable 9 millimeters, but you don't have the capacity. I mean, this is 10 plus 1. So, having 10 rounds of 380 in your pocket wouldn't be a bad option for a backup. I would not carry this as a primary gun because I have to modify my grip so much because my thumb actually sticks out past the end of the muzzle. So I have to tuck my thumb in order to shoot it safely. The other thing with the SIGs, if you're not aware with the 365s, they do have a proprietary rail system here. So you have to get a light that is compatible with a SIG rail or you have to get the, the Picatinny adapter which adds a little bit of height to it and then mounting a light or whatever to it. Um, but to be perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't even put a red dot on this whole thing. I would get a good pocket holster that would ride in my pocket. And I, I think that's where it would, it would live its life is uh, California reload. Um, but anyways, I thank you guys for coming out, watching the video with me. And uh, as we get a little more rounds through this, through my family member, um, I'll try to give you guys an update on it and see what we think about it. But if it's any, uh, if the original 365 is any clue to what this is going to be, I think it's going to be a great little gun. Um, but the original first gen 365 did have some issues, uh, with drop safety and, and not wanting to work right. Uh, Mac with, uh, the, um, military arms channel had several that he had issues with and ended up having to send them back or get repaired but um i think they've all worked out those issues since because you don't see a lot getting sent back now um, anyways thank you guys very much you have a blessed day and we'll see you next video